Hi, I'm Cindy Dunlap. I serve as the Chief Nursing Executive for the Scott and White Healthcare System. That includes 11 uh, different facilities along with uh, the clinic responsibilities of a, a thousand employed uh, physicians across our continuum of care. I uh, also have the privilege of serving as the Chief Nursing Officer for our flagship facility located in Temple, Texas. We're an academic medical center, and so we provide all the different services you would think associated with the academic medical center, including transplants. I've had a interesting journey in the last year. I became uh, uh, upon this position about one year ago in October, and certainly the challenges that we all face as chief nursing officers came to bear very, very quickly for me. Uh, uh, instead of looking at, at uh, working in a time uh, that you had um, uh, opportunity to, to do long-range planning, I found that I needed to quickly uh, do uh, work in, in numerous areas. Fortunately, one thing the organization had begun to do is to work uh, towards decreasing the use of contract labor. We um, uh, quickly had, uh, in the uh, prior to my arrival, joined forces with AMN and Nurse Finders to do an exclusive contract for not only this facility but for our system, and which we realized lots and lots of potential savings because of that uh, in exclusivity. But really what the challenge of my day pressed upon me was uh, the ability to have the right staff at the right time. I think no doubt in order for us to provide excellent quality care, the only way you do that is engagement of your front line. And, and at times we were not executing to what we had committed to our staff and staffing grids and, and committing to them the, having the right uh, competency of staff when they needed it. So one thing I can easily say uh, to this uh, group that I'm speaking with today is that in addition to our use of AMN and nurse finders for uh, contracting of all of our agency staff, we join forces on a, on a special uh, relationship um, in the sense that within two weeks, of, of me joining the organization, I quickly realized we weren't executing to our plans and that uh, essentially uh, this large facility really did not have uh, a centralized force in staffing. So with the help of a team of people, they came in to help me put together that staffing office. So we did basics. Uh, we uh, analyzed our, our grids, analyzed uh, absenteeism, realigned our time and attendance codes, and other numerous policy changes. I uh, was able to hire a director over our staffing office within uh, six weeks. And so um, with the, the help of some additional outside resources, we were able to execute on our goals a lot quicker. And I think that's one of the key things all of us want to do in our pressurized days is to execute quicker, more efficiently, and doing what's right for our patients. There's still more challenges uh, for a, a system such as ours. I would think we're still on a learning journey for improvement in staffing and work environments. We have dreams of uh, not only uh, ensuring staffing at this facility, but we've got a major initiative across our system to identify a staffing and scheduling software uh, system that will allow us to know how each of our facilities are functioning. Uh, another goal that we have is, is establishment of a system-wide flow pool to help out facilities at times of need. Uh, so a lot of other um, um, major projects on our feet are continuing to uh, improve our, our quality outcomes. I know that one of the things that I've been asked to um, mention uh, during our short time together is what does the future look like for our workforce? And I think that's a very interesting question. I wish I had um, the uh, vision to know how this will all play out, but I am t absolutely convinced 
of one thing, is that, and that is that the way we provide care today is not sustainable over time if we will see the reimbursement uh, decreases that are predicted. Uh, how we provide care at the bedside is going to have to look different, and I think it's going to be up to you and me to uh, evaluate what that looks like um, and make sure that we're at the table to identify uh, how we can change that model of care and therefore it will drive how we look at our workforce and who we need on our workforce. That's going to be a, a, a terribly challenging time, but what an opportunity to be innovative and creative for the future. So in closing, I wish I could be with each and every one of you at this conference. I, I look forward to attending the conference next year and, and meeting uh, each of you and hoping to add you as a person that I can reach out to as we face these challenges of the future. I think that we should be uh, very blessed. It's a term that I use coming from Texas that we're blessed for a lot of gifts and I think we're blessed that we are able to be a part of an industry that not only provides a service but really is part of a ministry of caring for our patients and their families. So I hope you have a great conference and thank you.